walk you through our MX and off-road trailer. You can see we've got the bike in there. I'm gonna give you a quick view of everything. This is the final product that you're seeing here. And then I'm gonna walk you through how we built this out, why we moved to the enclosed system and show you how it all came together. So stay tuned and at the end, please like and subscribe. Here was the setup last year. This utility trailer served me really well for what it was used, loading bikes on, managed to get everything on it, very sturdy, but ended up putting it on Facebook, resold it, kept its value really well and purchased this Amerilite trailer, six by 12 foot, uh, brand new from PJ Trailers in Brecon, the same place that I got the utility trailer. There's me happy about to pull away. So let's take this bear trailer and show you how we built it out. A lot of work to do here on this trailer. We're gonna make it out to race ready status and uh, our moving race apartment for Rusty Sprockets. We have lots of ideas. I've uh, come up with, uh, I think a plan on how we're gonna make this happen. And um, what I'm envisioning is we've got some E-Tracks here uh, that we're gonna be using to mount up the side. And then you'll see that we're gonna throw a couple shelves, one, two, using the E-Track system. And after that, uh, we'll use this rubber, uh, rubberized gym flooring to do the top of that shelf to make a nice work area that'll have some grip. For the floors, uh, the idea now is to do an epoxy uh, using this rock solid uh, box here. Rock solid floor coating, clear coating. And we're gonna mix it with this uh, metallic orange. Hopefully get it matched as close as we can to a KTM, KTM color. And then from there, the typical accoutrement, we'll get some shelving up um, and places to hang our helmets. And then you'll also see um, we're ordering in some uh, great uh, mounts um, from Rocky Mountain, and we'll do a whole separate review on those. But in the end of the day, they're hopefully going to go one, two, three. Yeah, so let's see what we can do with the all new Rusty Sprockets trailer. What I'm doing here is putting these vertical E tracks. Then we've got this bracket here, which will fit a two by four or even a two by six. And once you drop the board in here, it'll come right across and we'll install it on the other side. And then we're going to try and get some workbench area here and then another storage one. The nice thing about the E-Tracks is you can modify the length of the, the, sorry, the height rather of the shelving as you need. Back up a little bit here to see. What is we're doing? It's gonna go over the this other. Is what side. I'm using to screw in the E-Track, uh, zinc plated quarter by one and a half quarter inch screw, uh, self drilling. Just make sure that you find the frame because everywhere that you drill in may not have a frame. Right along here is where the frame is, and that's about as good as I'm gonna get. This one isn't into the frame, but the strength of all of these, as you can see, I added more bolts every second while well, skipping two. This should give it plenty of strength. I'm sure that these E-Tracks are going to mount the shelving straight. Uh, I'm measuring to the first point of the E-Track rather than from the ground to some other point. Uh, that's, I think, the best reference because even if your trailer um, is going to be a little bit warped, that should help keep it straight. No matter. There you have it. You can see now the board is mounted. And then you can screw it in here for stability. But the nice thing is you can clip these right out, adjust it however you like. Um, so here it's coming along. I've got uh, the e track set up. The middle one uh, is a supporting bracket. So what you'll see here is I'm going to be putting these in like so, and then it will support when I put the table on top. So, so there you can see what I'm getting at. The top will be for storage. It'll be nice and tight, and I could probably even throw some webbing or something up top to keep uh, looser items. I think that'd be a good spot for things like, I don't know, maybe dirty laundry or something. And then down here, we've got our workbench, but it's definitely strong. And what I'm gonna do now is be throwing over um, some templates that I cut out for that size already. 
and uh, you'll see it will be all hidden anyway. So as long as it's strong and the rest of it looks good from what can be seen. So here I cut out uh, a template of what I wanted. I just used a piece of uh, big canvas paper, but you could use cardboard as well. And get the measurements that you need, measure out here. And then once you've got the template, I cut out the wood, just some particle board plywood. And now I'm laying down, I use the same template to cut out from this rubber. I'm gonna be uh, cutting out um, a rubber top for it all. And then this part I've left longer to actually fold down over the exposed wood. You'll see what I mean. And I can see I've got that um, piece that I cut out as a template. And there you have what is a pretty great workbench right now. Get a toolkit right here, secure that in, and start working towards doing the top one as well. I'm just drilling this down now with wood screws to keep it fastened. Shelving. Coming along. So now it's finished. We managed to get some decals for it. We've got the big rusty sprockets logo on the side. A lot's happened from the last time I filmed it. I kind of got bored in making the video, but recently I thought there's nothing else to do with this COVID quarantine. So I'm going to give you a walk and see that it's a drop down ramp that we can bring them up. We've got the rusty sprockets logo on it. And here we've got uh, our hooks from Ryder Cargo that we got from Rocky Mountain ATV that we hang uh, our helmets off of. It works really well. Four of those, uh, very inexpensive. I think they're like 10 bucks each, 12 bucks each. Some cheap LED lights that you can pick up. Those just Velcro on or screw in. A uh, garbage can is the motion detector. So when you come in, uh, again, just a cheap motion detector light that throws on some LEDs. Uh, over here, we've got a power inverter that I recently installed, 2000 watt, that runs directly into a marine uh, deep cycle battery. And then the extension cord runs up and over for anything that you want to be running. Here's our laundry bag. You really don't need anything special for that. There's a hook that comes with it. Uh, E-Track systems work really well because there's so many accessories that you can put into them. Uh, you've got the small hooks, the larger hooks. On this side, we've got all of the uh, clothing, like jerseys, pants, my kids' pants. And then down at the bottom are boots that are held in by bungee cords and just clipping into that e-track system as well. Works really well, keeps them there, easy to access, and it will fit any boot because you're just throwing across a bungee cord. You can see there we've got tie-in straps. We don't really need them because we've got the lock and load, but it's good to always have them if bikes don't fit. That's the DeWalt air pressure. We did a review on that. Here we've got some other systems up top just to hold in clothing, t-shirts, whatever, broom, umbrella, towel, braces, armor, all on one side. The nice thing now is everything is self-contained. So I'm going through this quickly just so you can see all the things that we've put in here. Uh, we can hang our stands off there. The e-track systems are very heavy and durable, so there's no problem with hanging off uh, heavier items like that. So those are the lock and load. We also did a review on those. You can take a look at those. Highly recommend them. They're so amazing. You just drive your bike in, click down, holds them in there perfectly, and you can keep a lot of bikes in there. Spare tire, tire change stand, and then behind that, if you can see it, we've just got a little clamshell barbecue. It's always nice to have if you want to cook up burgers or anything. So here we've got a little bit of a cleaning station, um, tire, um, paper towel holder, spray nine. This is a rusty sprocket swag, t-shirts and hats and everything else up there. Here we've got the box of tool set that I'm always raving about. It's held in with double twist ties, screwed into the plywood in the workbench area. It stays in there very well. This nice compact uh, tool set has everything you need and it's a perfect fit for the top nose part of this trailer. Locks down and then lock it and it will make sure that nothing comes out. Here we've got some cabinets that I picked up on sale, about 70 bucks each, holding different fluids, silicone chain wax, there's some tape in there. We've also got first aid kit, blowtorch, more oils, 
So obviously you can just put whatever you want in here. Try and keep it compartmentalized to different things. This is a utility drawer. One of the things I realized is as you start to drive, it's all going to come out. So I just created that plastic thing out of a comforter uh, package and taped it down and held it down with bungee. More stuff in there, extra brake pads, sag adjuster, hammer, tubing. Uh, moving down the line, oil filters, oil cleaners, and goggles. There's that light, that motion light I was talking about earlier. Just comes on as you walk past it. It's great at night. And then the biggest feature for my kids, we've got a Nintendo Switch hooked up in there with that power inverter I showed you. So some Mario Kart on in between motos. We can watch that. Or if we're spending the night in the trail with some cots, we could we could watch YouTube or whatever. So there it is. Oh.